Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so once again, I'm sure you can hear that my beautiful little drabbles are being quite noisy, but due to stuff which is going on outside my property at the moment, there is a limited amount of time for me to actually record stuff. I have to take advantage of whenever it's quiet. And again, if you've noticed that the light's been a bit funny in my last few vlogs, it's because my window has been replaced and the blind hasn't gone and been put back in yet. Basically, that it's like still in the middle of being sorted and I don't have a blind, so I can't do anything about the lighting in my, in my room, in the room that I'm in. Um, so I, I do apologise for that. And it's also the reason why there hasn't been any Isla Reads recently, because trying to find time to actually record it when it's quiet is a little bit difficult at the moment. It's much easier to get like these vlogs done and recorded really quickly. But once I've done them, I don't necessarily have the energy to then go on and record for, for Isla Reads. So hopefully once all the scaffolding has down and gone and I can guarantee you some quiet time, <laughs> I will be able to start putting Isla Reads back out um, on a more regular basis, not necessarily once a week, um, maybe once a week, it will, it, it will all depend, I've got some time off coming up and hopefully I will be able to get things sorted and get myself a little bit ahead and then in which case, you know, Isla Reads will go back to being more regular schedule. Um, if not, because as I said, it's all dependent on when the scaffolding comes down. <laughs> Once, once that comes down, then I know there will be no more noise. Um, if there is no more noise, then I will be able to sort of, you know, be able to do things. And as I said, at the moment, I'm like shifting around and trying to get time just to do, to do the vlog because it's much easier for me to record and edit the vlogs than it is to record and edit Isla Reed. So I've, I've put the priority on that. Um, so, yeah, that, that in case you were wondering what was going on with the channel, that is what's going on with the channel. And I, I apologise for the random update, but th there we go. <laughs> random update. Um, all right. OK, so this week uh, in this, this vlog, we are going to be talking, uh, uh, continuing my little mini series and talking about the Mansi, Mansi, Mansi. I can't even say my own words. Great. Uh, talking about the Mansi trio. Um, so... It, a series of three books which don't really have an official title yet. I've sort of given like various temporary overarching titles over the years. Um, I think each book has its own little name from what I can remember. <laughs> um, the actual overall series doesn't actually have a name at the moment. So I'm, I'm referring to this Marcy Trio because Muncie or uh, Demon in the Few does play a part within the, within the series, certainly within the third book of the series, and there are sort of maybe some mentions and stuff sort of before that. Um, so this series um, has undergone a number of restarts over the years. Um, I think I initially wrote it as a story, um, which I didn't finish. And it was, it was going to be a long, like, three-part story, or it was going to be three books. I, I don't remember how I originally set out. I think I think I started out as just being one big, long book rather than three smaller ones. Um, or not smaller ones. Rather than three books, because in the most recent version of it, there is a lot more stuff that goes on in the two middle parts, whereas before they, you know, it all would have worked as one book. Now it works better as, as three. Um, so, yeah... I, I got to the third part, I got partway through the third part and didn't quite know where I was going with it. I sort of knew, but I, I don't know, I, I think I just, there was something more interesting that I wanted to do and I kind of almost gave up on it, um, kind of prematurely. I'm not entirely sure why, but I just stopped writing it. Um, so a little bit after that, I tried to write it as a film script. Um, I got to maybe a little bit further, a um, little bit further along than I got the original time, but still roughly about the same point, and I then stopped. <laughs> I, I kind of got to that point, I was kind of like, hmm, um, I've got 
something more interesting I watched the other and I don't know what it is. It's not that the story itself and the ending itself wasn't interesting. I just got to this, this particular point in it was like there was a block there where I knew where the ending was and I knew where I was and I didn't know how to, to connect those two bits. And uh, yeah, I, it's one of the few times where I think I have ever been sort of stopped dead by by writer's block and um, I'm in the same place, twice. <laughs> um, yeah, well, technically. Yeah, no, because even like when I sort of was recrafting it as, as in the script version, um, I, I was adding in different things and doing different things to how I'd done it in the book and, and expanding on the, the lore and, and stuff like that. So even though a lot of it was just sort of like copying and pasting, you know, various bits of dialogue and stuff like that, you know, that I was taking a slightly different approach with it, hoping that, you know, the slightly different format would, you know, let me push past that little bit of a block that I'd reached. Um, unfortunately, it didn't. Um, so in a few years after that, again, I started rewriting it as a series of books rather than one book. And I think in doing that, I kind of realised why I'd been blocked the first time. Um, and that is because I was missing elements of the, the first two parts of the story. Um, what would become books one and book two, um, I, I was missing like huge... Um, bits of the story and yeah and, and once I'd sort of worked that out and worked out okay that's why I couldn't get past that particular book because there were bits I was missing and I needed to, to put those bits in in order for, for things to sort of progress further then I did actually complete the series <laughs> on my third go around. Um, so Marty Trio is is quite interesting because um, in, in the first book you do get um, the the three Catalans that are from the connected reality interacting and you get a little bit of their history and a little bit of their backstory. It does focus on the one from the fifth. She is the main Catalan within this particular series. Um, but the other two do get featured. You do get, you know, some of the, the backstory that gets alluded to in the Realms and Reality series. Uh, certainly in the beginning of the Realms and Reality series, you get some of, of the illusion alluding to, to this sort of going on, but this is like you actually getting to see it. Um, and the the, the, tri the trio of books happen over three sort of different time periods um, within the, the lives of the, the main characters. So you get a bit of them being children, you get a bit of them, in, in, and then the first book is sort of focusing on like that childhood bit and the, the stuff that happens around that bit. And then you get this middle. A book which is a few years later where they're sort of in their teens and then you get the last book where they are very young adults so there's not like a huge time jump between between each of the three books so I think you kind of go like say you take one character who's like 10 in the first book and then like 15 in the second book and then they're 20 in the third book I think it's roughly that kind of a time jump um she might be slightly less of a, a time jump than that um, I'm not sure it's either like three or four years between it's between three and five years between each book <laughs> we'll go with that <laughs> um it's been a while so I, I can't remember exactly but yeah I, the the group of characters I get that get focused on um within that those, those three books they're they're quite good they're they're amongst some of my favorite uh, characters certainly in terms of names certainly in terms of how they interact off of each other and it's quite nice getting to grow them up through the three books as as well and getting these sort of slices of where they are at, at different points and I mean the, the middle book the middle book or the middle part was the part that I'd always initially sort of had it was sort of like you know when, when I sort of initially had it all to being one big long story it was just like the middle of the story so when I came to, to writing it as three definite books um that was the one where I definitely had to find more of a plot <laughs> Whereas before it's sort of like the intermittent bit between two other plots, um, the, the connecting leg between you know, this uh, longer overarching story. Um, in, in the middle one, you very much, I had to sort of find where the plot was. And you know, as I said, because I sort of missed some of these details in, in the earlier two versions, um, and I got these plot points from the earlier two versions because I hadn't thought about them yet. Um, those certainly helped in, in creating this much more focused story for the middle book um, so that it wasn't just 
the connection between books one and books two, this sort of, ah, this is what happens when they're in the middle of their teens, because reasons. <laughs> There's definitely much more of a structure to that middle book now. And, you know, it, the series as a whole works all, I think, a little bit better because of it. Um, obviously, it is because it has, was initially conceived as one big, long story. It's much more of an interconnected series than um, some of my series tend to start out in. I think for, for the length of it, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think it works. Um, I think it's, it's quite a nice and quite fluid way of doing things. Um, I, I know I haven't ta- talked a whole lot about what the series is about. Um, and that's not because I can't remember. I do remember what the series is about. It's more, I think, for this particular series, what I kind of wanted to focus on more with this particular vlog wasn't necessarily what the series itself is about, but how, you know, it was one of those things which had for a long time been something that I struggled to, to work out how to finish and, you know, what kind of got me past that that point. And as I said, it's, it's something that I, I've rewritten more than once and in, in more than one way. And it was only once I realised what I was missing that I was able to sort of push past that final hurdle and, and actually finish the series in I, I kind of, I guess, want to sort of say that, you know, if you are somebody who does suffer from writer's block on a more regular basis, I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate that I don't really get writer's block. I get, I get sort of a stagnating sometimes where I'm not totally sure where things are going and I kind of sort of write through that and, you know, develop the characters a little bit more and then suddenly, yes, yeah, that's, that's my leaping off point, that's how I get from A to B. Um, so it's very rare for me to sort of ever have have something where I'm just sort of like, no, I literally can't think of how to how to connect this. I, I don't know where this is going next. I don't know how to do this next bit. Um, and 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 because of that, you know, it it, it felt like one of those series that for a while was just sort of just hanging over me, kind of going, come on, you're like so close to the end. Why haven't you finished this yet? Um, and I, I think, you know, finding that thing that I was missing um, and realising it was an element from, like, very early in, in the stories that kind of needed to, to be included and, and be there and smooth things out. And um, the, I think the idea very much of, of connecting it properly to, to the multiverse and, and actually the creation of the, the multiverse as it is now um, is very much part of, the, of how I managed to sort of push through and, and, and get to the end and... It was very satisfying being able to do that. So, you know, if I was to sort of advise anybody who does get writer's block on a regular basis and, and does sort of struggle to, to push through things um, more more frequently than you know than, than I necessarily do, I would say maybe try tackling it from a different way. Whether it's writing it in a different style, whether it's taking a different character's point of view, whether it's thinking about where, what's going on in the plot and what's going on and if you're missing anything. Because um, sometimes it's it's that that is kind of stopping you and, and, and blocking you. But, you know, the, if it's a good story, you will find a way. You will somehow eventually find a way. So don't ever sort of think that, you know, the, this project that I've tried several times to to finish and can't quite do is never going to be finished. Don't, don't think about it like that. Just think about it as... I don't know how to finish this project right now, but given some time and a little bit of thought and maybe working on something else for a while might give me the key to unlocking the end of that project. And once I do, I will go back to that project and it will be amazing and fantastic and I will finish it. And I think, you know, don't ever be disheartened by not being able to finish something. Instead, think of it as something that you will come back to later and once you do, it will end up being what you want it to be. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's good. That is uh, that's kind of what I wanted to sort of talk about when with this particular series. And as I said, I know it's not been quite so focused on the series itself and on, on the book, but, you know, this is not just about that it's about what these particular projects and these particular works have mean to me and, and you know that's that's something important to get across as well with you know the whole point of doing these like little mini series is, is to get different things across and, and for this particular vlog that's what I want to get across um okay 
So next time we will be talking about the Sailor Send 4. So it's another series that doesn't have a proper title yet. <laughs> the individual books have titles, but the series as a whole does not have a proper title yet. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have found this one interesting. Um, and I hope you're looking forward to the next one. But until next time, see ya. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!